I think he said himself, it, the, the squad looks a little bit unbalanced to me. Um, we do have a, a number of number 10s, if you like. Uh, we've one matter, you've got Kigawa, Yanazai to come back. Um, Herrera looks more like a number 10 than a, than a central midfield player. Um, Tom Cleverley, you could argue, could play a number 10 as well. So there's, there's a lot of them types of players um, struggling a little bit for defenders. Phil Jones, Chris Marlin and Johnny Evans are only recognised defenders he said he likes. Michael Keane and, and Tyler Blackett as well are, are up-and-coming defenders. Um, but I, I think his priority will be defenders. Um, if you look at the three lads who just mentioned, the first three, um, they don't have great injury records as well. Um, they don't seem to... You know, play as many games as the, the, the likes of Rio, the likes of Vidic, the likes of Evra, the likes of Evra, who you know, have been you know, the cornerstone of the defence for the last 10 years, maybe. And you know, if you if you take them out, especially Evra, you know, with the, the left back situation, with a young lad like Luke Shaw coming in, um, it's a big money move for him. There'd be a lot of pressure on him. I think it would have been nice for, for Patrice to stay and, and try and guide him through that. But you can understand Patrice's side of the, the coin as well. He, he wants to go and play football. Um, so the, the, there's big losses there, but again, the young defenders and you know, if they can stay fit, I, I think they'll be okay. Speaking of Luke Shaw, he's already said that, that he thinks he's not quite fit and he's given him this programme to work on. He's not frightened of, of letting people know exactly what he thinks, Mr Van Haar. So do, do you think that's a, a sign for the future? Will the players be able to cope with that? Well, they'll have to do, won't they? Um, if they don't like it, then tough. Um, I, I think it's the best way to be. Um, you know, when a, when a player knows where, you, where they stand, um, you know, I think it's it's always better than being a bit unsure. Does does the manager like me? Does he not like me? It seems with this man that you know you you you'll know either way, and I think that can only be a good thing. Formations wise as well, there's been a three-four-three that's been used, which he used in the World Cup with Holland. Do you think that could well be the way forward for Manchester United? You know? It looks that way. Um, I think he's played many different systems where. Well, with whatever club he's been at, with Ajax, Barcelona, Bayern Munich, I think he could play any system. But I think when he's had a look at these players, this is the the system that he he, he feels is best to cope with with the squad. I think it's designed to get his forward players in. He likes to get his two forwards of, of Van, per Van Persie and Rooney, and also had the number ten, which has been one matter in these first games. And I, I think it's a, it's the right thing to do. You, you know, when you've got players of the quality of Wayne Rooney and Van Persie and Matter in your team, you can only score goals. And I think if he can work any system around them through, then then the United fans were are in for a good season and hopefully an entertaining one with a lot of goals. Speaking of Wayne, there's been a lot of people saying that maybe he should be the next man to be given the England armband. What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, I don't see why not. Um, I don't think there's any outstanding candidates really for for the role. Um, with United as well, I, I think it'd be, I think it'd be good for him, you know, an added responsibility that, you know, he'd be able to take on the shoulders and something I, I'm sure he'd be able to cope, uh, to, be, to to cope with.